people jump on the call as well. Okay. Just because um, it just, yeah, I, I like to sort of where, where if, if, if everyone, it's just, it's just it's good concentrate, you know. Um, but anyway, so what I want to just share with you is, is I just wanted to, to, um, yeah, you can, I think it's good that you, I like that you're always recording it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no, it's good. That way you, you're, you're not missing out shit. Um, so what I meant, and it's very important that you sort of start to, um, start seeing the perspective. What I meant, whenever you receive, because, uh, this this exercise is is predominantly about each individual bringing stuff to the table. No one actually provides anything. It's basically the provider. You could call it the, is the man upstairs with any insight or whatever. So all we're doing is passing on things to one another. Okay. So if 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 there is if there's um, any sort of wooden idols from the state, from the government, from any agencies, any interviews, interactions, pass it on to the platform so all can start on learning. It's training ground. And um, yeah, and then I'll say, who can provide anything other than passing things on? Is that making sense? Yes, it is. I just super that, confused how people have not have nothing to pass on. <laughs> I'll just clarify things with you as we go along. All right, that way you go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, I know what you're saying there. Okay, so, um, okay, so I'm just going to go through the, um, you sent me a, um, a picture of the IRS. Okay, so what you need to do, so have you done, ever, have you dealt with any paperwork before? Have you dealt with any wooden idols of man before? Only the, the first national bank that you've seen. Is this for me or the person? Okay. So when you start to study these documents, this is the beginning on how to go back to the source. All right. So um, right now, are you looking at that IRS piece of document that you gave me? Uh, right now I'm in the bathroom, but I'll be there and. 10 seconds. Yeah, okay. Because on this document that you sent me, there's a lot on it, okay? Um, so the Department of Treasury Internal Revenue Services, right, that, that basically a department means a division, a division of a division of a division of a division, and everything in man's world is division and divided, okay? So you start to look out, look up what is a department. And, and that's why a dictionary is very important because a dictionary actually helps every word when you start to realise goes back to the possessor. It's, it all funnels back under one right. word, possessor. And that's why you don't see God on these documents. You don't see creator. You don't see claimant. You don't see a lot of other things. All you see is everywhere you look is is take possession, right? And but mm. the eyes aren't tuned for it. Okay, the eyes we've been blinded. It's right in front of us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So um, so I'm going through it. So you, you, what you need to look at is up above on the right hand side. It says notice. There's, there's notice, notice name, notice date, right? So as soon as you notice something, right, you need to look up what is notice, right? What do you, what do you, what do you know about notice? So as soon as you, as soon as you see a notice, you need to start kind of. It's kind of like you're learning before you unlearn. It's going forward, then you're going backwards. This is why it's a head fuck for most people. Um, and this is why it's so difficult for anyone to sort of conceive. So before you go in reverse, you have to go forward. Does that make sense kind of thing? Yes. Okay. So, so you need to start to, you need to start investigating what the fuck is a notice? Because if you don't know what a notice is, you're never going to change the way you speak. 
uh, there's no change because it's all there. And notice, once you start to, to, to can even start to see what is the, the state sending me, right? It's a, it's, it's, it, they're sending an announcement, right, and in, in, in intimation, right, a warning, a note, a placard. They're conveying an inf information or some kind of warning to you. Right? It's an information. It's the tree of knowledge. It's the matrix. Call it what you like. Right? It's, it's, it's to, to get possession from you, to get attention. A notification, right, is, is there. You know, it's, it's for you to notice something. Soon as you notice something and you have and there and you have an understanding, you you go straight into possession. It's instantaneous. Mm. Right? Once you go into possession, you are in agreement. Possession and agreement go hand in hand. All right. So you are given the offer to take possession of this notice. And soon as you identify this notice, you've taken possession of it, okay? Because you're aware. There's awareness, right? Awareness has got to do with someone told you about this. When you are a very little kid, you started to learn uh, the technology, which is the language, and you didn't realise until you get older that, you know, you actually, the only thing you're aware of is what you've been told and, and, and you're in possession of this knowledge, okay, because you verify it by knowing what the notice is, okay? So the first thing, when you look at this notice, okay, you start to look at, okay, the, the notice has got to do with the tree of knowledge. You ever heard of the tree of knowledge? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this notice... Imagine this This is all scripture. Absolutely. This all goes back to the tree of knowledge. Absolutely. Right? You take from the fruits of the tree of knowledge, you'll positively die, right? Because mm. you've taken the belief. You now are in possession. You've noticed something. It's a little bit, little red riding hood. She went off into the fields of flowers. She noticed there was a field of flowers, right? So there's, there's you're in possession of the terminology field and flowers. So we're in possession of information. Can you see in that box above, right? That box above, can you see it's got information? It's got your possession, your ID. It's all your possession. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. I need, I need you to look at this very carefully. I know there's five pages and I know I haven't seen them, but there's so much on this. You could spend, you could spend like several months going through this, breaking it up, and starting to see that it all funnels back to possession. Notice mm. in possession of property, the matrix, tree of knowledge. You're taking possession of property that don't belong to you, and it's all here. It's all in this document. Our records show you filed your possession, 2020. Right, and you got an amount owed. So our records—that's legion. Our, right? Our records. Our is is all under the umbrella of they, them, we, us. Um, you know, our records. That's all legion. You ever heard of legion? Mm-hmm. And they're coming after legion. you. Legion of demons, right? Well, they're coming after you with the offer. And what are you going to do with this offer? Are you going to take it? So if you don't know how to take it, if you, if you, if you, all you know is how to take, are you going to learn how to ask the proper question that actually deals with this? And, and who deals with these offers? I'm yet to find one human on this fucking rock who deals, who considers, maybe not so much deal is maybe the incorrect word, but considers this offer and then if you look down this is your billing summary whenever you see your and the word that follows they're just saying it's your possession you're in possession of the possessor's property now what, what, what more is it that one can't grasp or understand about that um 
and then it says tax you owe. All right. So is it true in the scripture, owe no man anything? All right? No. Well, now you owe the state, all right, when you filed your possession. Okay? If you already have, can you see, can you see on this document, you just need to circle this because if you don't start doing the 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 groundwork, you need to start circling or, or putting in um, red ink or highlighting it with a texter or something so that you can start seeing possession. I can't do the work for you, bro. Yeah, it, absolutely. It, I, I've been I've been pulling it out. I've been I have a I have a copy of this where I've highlighted. Yeah, know, so you highlight possession. You, you highlight legion. Then you highlight all possession, because if you don't highlight it, it's just never gonna. It's not gonna change inside the brain. We're gonna still talk like a fucking clone. We're gonna mm. talk like a fucking muppet, right? So if you already have, so in other words, right, you have possession instalment. Now it's this payment agreement. So there's an agreement you have with this document. There's an accord between this piece of paper and you, right? And if we don't receive, in other words, if we don't receive, this is, this is, this is about possession. If we don't receive your possession, right, by this date, you need to start seeing everything by possession. You're not going to see claimant here and all that fucking shit that everyone else hears. You're here in its possession, your total balance. Can you see your again? Now you go and look up in the dictionary and you tell me what does your mean? Your is fucking mm. possession. Have you done that before? Did I you have. ever do that I'm, before? I'm big on the dictionary, but every time I post a um Okay, don't worry about every time I post a definition, it's like uh, you know, I don't know. It's Listen, like, I'm doing it right now. There's a dictionary, I type in your and it straight mm -hmm. away comes up possessive case. Possession. Sure, sure right? absolutely. Yeah. Everything's possession, boys and girls. I don't know how to. It's it's like if we don't do this this work and start seeing what the hell's going on. It just when I don't know. Anyway, I, I guess I, I do go on. Um, so it's your possession already in that first few lines. There, it's it's possession, 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 possession. Um, then it goes notice. So notice is for you to take possession. Right, for you to notice. In other words, for you to take possession of the tree of knowledge, right? That you are in possession of of, of a debt. Okay, uh, you know about a debt. Once you're in possession of knowledge about debt, that's terminology. Okay, so now you you now need to pay. It's a bit like that um that funny video you know about everyone being stoned. About Jehovah? Did you see it or not? Hello? Hello? Yeah, so I said I uh, start recording. Second. What's that? All right. Can uh, you hear yes, me? Uh, yes, I've seen, I've seen that one. Everything, okay. all the different clans come along and killing the, the, the people who claim the land. Correct. Yeah, yeah, there's that one. But then there was another one I sent on the um, on the call. Um, and it, and okay, it was about, about, about speaking the name of Jehovah. Yes, yes. So oh, the yeah, people, the it. people were in possession of a term, which was the mm. term was Jehovah. As soon as you speak it, right, um, you're, you're now basically everyone's going to stone one another. It was quite funny. But then he reads out the decree, which is the document. And he says, you're now guilty of the people who charge you with blah, 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 right? You're in possession of property, okay? So now they get stoned. Well, that's where you go, well, you know, there's a question to ask. And that's, that's the ancient old question. As soon as man brings out the paper, you know, do you agree with that? And they go, well, yeah, we agree with that. All the people agree with this, All right? Agree with thine adversary quickly. Or well, is there a signed agreement between you and me on a piece of paper before the judge? Right, that's that's bottom line. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back to 
to that piece of paper again. So along the bottom there, it says make. Can you see this? Can you go along the bottom? Yep, make your check or money order payable to the United States Treasury. Okay, slow it down. You're too fast. So, mate, right, I was just, I was just stating it. For that's the, okay, for mate. Just did, everything's right there. So now, you see the 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 thing that these pieces of paper have or we indicate is make is you're the maker. Does, does that sound weird or not? Because you're in possession, you're the maker. Yeah, yeah. It's just been. Uh, I mean, you've been so long indoctrinated into it. Like make is. All these words are, are simple in our mind. Yeah, but not. listen, you right, see, right. It, it, it's like if it's true, the Father is everywhere. You can't escape it. It's on every little sure. document, and it, and sure. it comes out of the mouth of man. Right, so when right. you start looking everywhere, it's right in front of you, but no one can see it right. because make, once you once you take make, you're now the maker because you're in possession. Now you've got to write out a fucking money order. Because you're the maker. Now write your possession, right? Mm. Because you're now the author. Once you write something, you're the author. And you want to know what the author is? The authority. No, the possessor. Everything comes back to the possessor, the maker, the God, right? But the, mm. it funnels under the possessor. Everything is underneath the possessor. Okay. Is that a strange concept or what? No, no, I, I thought it goes hand in hand with the authority, author, authority. Yeah, possessor, well, just think uh, what authority is there when you're dealing with possession, yeah. all right? Okay. Your payment, yeah. again, what do you mean by your? So there you go. We've just done, what, 10, 10 15 minutes on one piece of paper, uh, and you can pretty much do, um, you, you know, th this is the matrix, mate. This is how you go back through the prodigal son. This is how you go back to the father. Start looking at how these documents. Who do you think wrote this 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 document? Have you met anyone? These yeah, documents. They're... Imagine this, brother. Imagine this is a document sent directly by the father to you. Mm. Right mm. to see who you serve. Choose this day Ooh. who you serve. You, you you serve the wooden idols, the beast of man, or you you're in, you're inquiring about the the agreement that you have before the father. So this is where the question comes in now. Okay, so do you want to write a letter for this? Is that what this calls about? Uh, not necessarily, but I would love to write a letter for this. Good. Okay. So first of all, is there a pen there? I uh, have a pen. Well, actually, you might want to write this down on this call, okay? All right. Right, so you go there to Department of the Treasury Internal Revenue Service. You write all that down. Okay. So to Department of Treasury. Just all you got to do is copy above on the left-hand side. Yep. Now... Look, I think you've left out a few other pages. You've only given me one page out of the four. Is that correct? Correct. Out of the five. Yeah. Well, you need to give me all of them. Okay. Because you don't actually realise how much, what is involved. Jared, are you there? Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Boone, you left off with, I don't think you realized 
meaning yeah, yeah. you haven't so, you haven't sent me all of them. Yep. All right. Sometimes I, I I fall in and fall out, and and here I am again. So, uh, okay. Right. Well, where was I up to? You said uh, I don't think you understand me. Can you send me all of them because you don't realize and, oh, yeah. and you were going okay. So you you've only given me one one p one document out of the five documents. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what I'm trying to say to you is that on the rest of those documents, right? Imagine the state or the system is is showing you how to come out of the matrix. And you need to follow the dots, which is the five other pieces of paper are going to show you the massive information that's there. You're going to start to see the simplification of it all and it's going to reduce itself all back into one term, the possessor. Very hard to see because everyone's head's full of possession and and full of knowledge. Um, Mm. So what we're going to start doing is breaking all these letters down and 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 you start to to you start seeing not 10 million words but you just start to see the word and when you start seeing the word it's not so confusing it's actually clearer it's 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 um you're able to deal with these offers uh nice and clearly all right because it's do you remember seeing in the matrix in the movie i don't know if you've ever watched it but there's, there's all these computer words and everything, but you actually start to see through the word and, and, yeah. and it, be, it becomes like uh, all, that, all that noise suddenly disappears. And that's, it's like a, a simplification of it all. It's, it's kind of mind blown. And right. that's why the four other pages, that's the, the, you could call it, that's the technology, that's the matrix. They, they talk about this matrix in the scripture. They've mentioned it twice. I, I mean, if I, if I found matrix twice in the scripture and, and the matrix is, is another word for technology and, uh, and whose technology is it? And once you start to see the technology um, as to who's the possessor of the heaven and earth, you start realizing, holy fuck, uh, this is a one hell of a, a, a technology. And, uh, and, 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 and once you're in, in possession of this technology, the burden is, is beyond anyone uh, mm. in, in, in able to handle it or, or, or bear it. No one can bear it. It, it, it wow. crushes all man into particles. This is the burden of possession. Okay, so so okay. Look, so th- there's a lot of work for you to do um, on those other five pieces of paper. I'd, I'd like to go through it with you, but anyway, I can just stick with the um, I can just stick with the first page, and because I can see straight away it's about the agreement. So I go to to Department of Treasury Internal Revenue Service. Underneath that, you go upon consideration. In other words, before we proceed, that's what upon consideration means. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So upon consideration is everything but answering. You're doing everything before you start opening that, that Fuck that effing pie hole, right? right. You go upon mm. consideration. Before we proceed, you're asking, before we proceed, you're going before, before we go to war, we're, we're asking upon consideration, right? Now, see how it talks there about an agreement? Can you see that? It's in a square yeah. box there. Installments, payments, agreement. Continue with that agreement. Can you see the agreement there? Oh, yes. Good. Now, can you write this down? Mm-hmm. Is there a signed agreement between me and all other relevant parties on a piece of paper before the judge? Regards. Uh, and then you just put the first name there, whatever you believe the first name is. 
You just put the first name there. That's all you need. Yeah, because first names, that's the only one that recognises a Christian name and, as yeah, well. Yeah. Don't worry about what's recognised. You don't recognise anything. Once you recognise something, you, you, you notice. And you've eaten from the tree of knowledge. So be careful of that word. Write that word down, recognise. You tell me what you recognise. All right? Whatever you think you recognise, watch out. That's another word for notice. And you'll be on notice. Mm. Okay, is that is a head fuck, but something to consider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I, I, I struggle when like I know the terminology or I know the I know the definition, but I can't state the definition, right? Like I know that uh, a Christian name is only only recognized by the first name. Not the uh, last name. Um, um, look, imagine the judge telling you, put all that aside, mate, because what do you even know about that? Yeah, your friends know you by the first name. They'll call you, you'll answer it. But when you when you come up with an agent, and I want to go through those um, videos with you um, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of gold in that, and, and you start talking to them in statement form, okay? So you need mm -hmm. to start renew the mind and start to 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 listen to what they're saying because for, for starters right do you know who they are right and what are you doing you're talking to them you, you know what you're saying <laughs> you're saying to them uh, i don't know i don't know what um what you said you said i don't know uh i don't know about anything or something like i don't know what's going on or I, 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 and then you make I don't know, you made about 50 statements of I don't and I don't and I haven't, I'm not. Right, 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 right. Now that is the renewal of the mind. That is changing the fucking way you speak. Mm. And this, this, you need to get this in your head, brother. It ain't me fucking giving you a hard time. It's business. Either you change your ways or you're going to go through the wood chipper. It's up to you. That's why I said you ain't providing nothing, mate. You're not God. A provider is the almighty upstairs. Who are you to provide anything other than mm. passing this fucking shit on to me, to the brothers, and everyone starts fucking unlearning this shit. Yeah? It ain't personal. Yeah? Do you know what that means? Either you want to go, you want to, if, 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 if you're lining up, if they're gathering you and they're putting you up against the firing line, are you going to start speaking I am? They're going to pump you full of lead. Think about it. Yeah. You want to be careful because this is the time we're going to be living in this lifetime, mate. We're fucking, they're going to be gathered up like sand and thrown in the furnace. You speak from I am, you're taking the title holder. You're God, mate. The all fucking mighty. You like that title? Good. This is how we exterminate them. What do you think the Jews were exterminated? They all identified, right? Their owners, they identified with Jew. A Jew is another word for owner. Once you take a term, you identify as an owner, which is in possession of the possessor's property, all right? And if that sounds like a load of bullshit, the only way to do it is to go and test this garbage out, right? Until you realise... It ain't your property, and you keep wanting to talk shit. Well, if this could help you from going into the gas chamber or getting fucking a, a bullet in your head, would you consider fucking changing what's between the ears? Absolutely. Well, good. So the work is here, and that's why you, you, you think clearly. Okay, fucking pass all this shit on and we all learn from it because I learned from it too. I learned from one of you boys and that. This is how I learned. This is how I unlearned. This is, if I was to unlearn something, this was how I did it. And then I learned to speak it, right? I learned to do it in front of people with guns ready to blow your effing head off. And then they're taking four or five steps back. So I wondered who's wearing the guns if I'm asking the question. So I realised the power of a question was like Almighty coming around and helping you out. 
So you is decide that, what you is want. That, to is, I mean, is that is that how you see it today? I mean, what do you mean? I mean, when you when you ask I the proper see, question, and that the proper yeah. question is listening to what's before you, right? Mm. And when they're walking away with their mouth shut, sounds like you did a good job. Do you do you expect to always be hassled? No, no. Eventually, they leave you alone. But you need to be training. This is training ground. You need to be hassled, and you want to be hassled. You need to go looking out there to be hassled, because the only way you're going to change that mindset is to be hassled. Yes. And and who wants to be hassled? Oh, please yeah, leave me so, alone. Please leave so me alone, of, officer. A lot of what I've done is is from statement point of views. Like I've had I've had similar point of views that. What I own is not mine. Uh, I, yeah, but hang on. But what I own, you've just made right, a, right. a. I I understand. I understand. Yeah. Like, I, I I yeah yeah. <laughs> I understand that. I, I I didn't know taking possession of it meant making a statement of it. I mean, saying I thought, you know, like many people on your calls right now saying I don't own anything. Yeah. Would well, would, would clear it. them from from saying that I don't own anything. But don't, it don't clear saying, anyone or anything. Right, right. You're saying from saying I don't own anything, saying I own everything. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, you, know? you, you start. It's completely you, you, the opposite. There you go. So if you if you speak, I don't own anything. Well, you're clearly speaking that you do own something. Right, right. So, yeah. Gonna, so that's that's where a lot of us are are like in the jungle, <laughs> you know, or in the desert, if you will, like. We we understand that, that, or maybe some of us understand that there's a creator that owns all, and we're we're just here, if you will. Yeah. But but a lot of us don't understand because of language saying the fact that like, fuck you, I don't own anything. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, by by your law or by God's law, either or by the state law, I'm called a tenant in my house on a mortgage. Yeah, I'm there you go, my I'm house. A, I'm called a tenant. Okay, yeah, right, right. And you're going to go back to my house. So clearly they're going to hold you to, well, he, saw, he said my house. Who now, cares about his mortgage or tenancy? Yeah, but you see, this journey, brother, is about one thing. The so-called IRS, you can write these letters, right? That's good. Mm -hmm. But they're going to ring you up. They're going to come around, mate, and they want to speak to you. They want to know who the fruitcake is this guy sending these fucking letters. Then mm -hmm. they want to hear what comes out of that pie hole and they're going to listen to you like a wolf and they're going to wait till something comes out of that mouth so that they can devour you whole in one gulp. You yeah. understand what that means? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's why. That's why even if you fuck up, there's still grace in this world, brother. It's not the end of the world, right? Even if you go to the box for a couple of months or whatever. So what? Do the meditation. Start to learn, unlearn it. Start to 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 find the questions. And and it's only through being at ground zero that w where one's got nothing to lose. It's not a journey most people want to mate. I gotta tell you something, brother. If I've spoke to a lot of people in the time, mate, I'll be lucky to fucking find even one or two who want to do this journey. I'm not joking. Mm. People go, fuck this. No one wants yeah, it. So, so here's the thing. Like, I've went there, right? You know I have. You heard me. Like, and I've went there a couple times when they told me that they would let me go home. Like, and you know that's not easy. Like, jail, uh, jail sucks. The food sucks. Everything sucks. Like, missing your family, my family, the family, whatever you want to call it. It's terrible. And How I've went you there, I've, uh, only 10 days so far. Okay. All right. Good. So yeah. you had a little bit of a taste. So you, it builds, look, it's there to build character. Right. Okay. Right. And I believe that because I see people in there that, you know, that I, I came out with a different understanding of, of yeah. life in general. Like I, once yeah. I went in there, I come out and I told my, my flute and parents like, Hey, I think everybody I go to jail for at least a week. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, but most uh, people will change. go to jail. Most people, um, 
they've got more jails down here in this part of the world. Everyone gets a chance, yeah. And uh, <laughs> um, the, basically, if if you don't actually, even the judge on I think one of the interviews said there, you need your mind. The mind needs straightening out because the mind is is you, you, you're talking like you need an exorcism because you're possessed with demons. And once you start talking from I am. You're providing evidence that the, you've been feeding the demon for so long. That Daniel, you know, is there is there a way to avoid that? I mean, like, I, you know, we, the family, <laughs> <laughs> or, or is it like part of this course? Is it? A, is it? I mean, what do you mean avoid? How can you avoid anything? It's in, if you've inserted it in yourself, you need to just meditate every single day on 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 how you speak. And then you listen to others and you've got to ask yourself, if I react, then I'm in possession. So what am I in possession of? I'm reacting. These are signs of, I mean, this is, this is just the beauty of this, of this physics. I call language physics a technology uh, because it helps to realise that I'm using a language or, a, or a, um, these instruments. I'm using this technology that I, I can only do it through asking. I cannot possibly do it when I'm telling someone uh, how something is. If I'm telling you something, I'm, I'm going to war. That's why there's like two modes. You're either in telling mode or you're in as king mode. You're asking. Um, most people are in the telling telling mode. And uh, if, you stay, if you stay in the asking mode, is it? Well, you're able to listen a lot more. Yeah. You're able, if you're in asking mode, you're able to, you know, question for question. You're able oh, to I did, listen. I did, I did. I did have one question. I mean, when when you when you had said that, that they wanted to come by your by your domicile, and you wrote them back and you said, "I want to know, you know, what your intentions are here." How how did you know how to respond to that versus saying any of the one of the three like canned agreement? All right, uh, I think that you have. I think I was talking about a council coming over and um, they wanted to come over and um, make some sort of assessment or whatever it is. And, and I asked them a question. I did the Colombo thing. As soon as you, as soon as you, if you, before you come over, um, if you can put in paper, right, because there's been no documentation. So I say, can you put in writing on a piece of paper as to your intentions as to why you wish to come over? Right, and and um, and you know, by by you explaining yourself, you put yourself in liability, because um, when you are in explaining mode, ex an explanation is your you're in telling mode, but you're asking them with a question. If don't ever forget that powerful word I F in front of every statement you make. Mm. Right before you come, if you can put if you can put in writing. As to one's intentions, as to why you wish to come around, right? So then you start dealing with the paperwork, just like with this IRS paperwork. Okay. So um, did you write down the question for this IRS paperwork? I did. I did. Good. So you can put it on the call. So you can you can then look at that piece of paper, and mm -hmm. and and how we considered it. Yes. Yes, yeah, so it's going out soon. Yeah, good. All right. And and then what I want you to do is photocopy all the other pieces of paper and start to use this. You asked me before, how did I start to how did I start to um, talk this way? Um, it's it was through through the documentation. And through the state, I learned to study the agents because they studied me and I asked one question. The question was, what are they doing? I'm not doing. And they're mm -hmm. studying me. And then they realised that this guy starts studying them. And that became a real, um, like, check, check, check. Yeah, you never checkmate anyone. It's always check, check, check. So that's why... Um, it's never a checkmate. You always provide or put together a check, which is a question, right? 
and 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 that's how you how you deal with question for question. Never ever give a statement. If you give a statement, you go to jail. It's that simple. You can you can ask a question, 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 and then you 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 drop the ball, and then you you, you think you know something, and then you go, oh, what's that about? So you're looking for information, you're seeking something, and then they come back to you, and it's like, well, oh, come with me. You're going now. Off you go because you've you've you're seeking out information. And, you know, are you entitled to that information? Who are you to ask about such things? Right? It's not your property, and you're asking about it. That's called meddling. Do you understand what meddling is? Mm-hmm. It's a you go to jail, mate. And when you start meddling with the fucking possessor's property, you go to jail. You're meddling. It's not your fucking property to meddle. Who the fuck are you? Right? You think you got, now pay the price. Answer the question. That's what the judge did in the, in the one we were talking about. Answer these questions or go to jail. That's the two options he, he gave you, didn't he? Yeah, I didn't get a lot more than that. There you go. That's right. So if you had a chance to change all of the way you speak and what comes out of that pie hole, because they're studying you, every word that comes out of that mouth, every single word, mate, you listen to their ears, they're inclined like you've never heard before. When you open that mouth, they're listening like anything. And they're writing every single word is written down or recorded documented, our records indicate this guy's a fucking claimant. We're going to burn him in hell. Yeah, that's right. But when you ask the question, they go, hang on a moment, we might have a sign of life here. This guy, yeah, we can't get him to take anything. Holy shit, that is making things difficult. He's not afraid of us. Mm. Holy shit, man, we've got a problem, Houston. What are we going to do? He's just not taking anything we're fucking offering him. Right? So what are we going to do? Fuck. The outcome might be really good for you. Mm. Imagine that. Imagine that. He's a fucking dumb ass. If you think you're a smart <laughs> ass, fuck. He's the bill and everything else that comes along with it. Mm. Yeah? So, um, I, I say the first page, how much was there in just the first page? Now, you didn't see God in there, did you? No, no, there was a lot of highs and we's and yeah, yeah. So, we's legion, yeah. we, 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 our records and all that. So, there's you, all you're going to see is legion, you're not going to see God and your creator, but you will see maker, make a claim, see maker. Yeah, you will see the maker, go make. Right, so, you saw so the maker upon there. Consideration, upon consideration, yeah. Before we proceed, is no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I tried to explain to you what does upon consideration mean. It means before we continue and go into war. All right, so you just put upon consideration. You don't put anything else. Upon consideration. Um, and then you write, is there a signed agreement between me and all relevant parties on a piece of paper before the judge? Okay, because right. this goes okay. before the judge. But not um, before we proceed. Before, you know, it's, you don't put before we proceed. I'm trying to sh- show you what upon consideration means. It's upon consideration means before we can okay oh, i don't know how to put this into your brain bro um upon, <laughs> you need to sort of know what you're writing upon consideration basically if, if you're looking for a look we'll start off with a meaning because this, this is the bullshit of meaning right it's basically it's it's considering is before going into warfare can, can you conceive that is it is it is there a possibility of of grasping what consideration is because the judges only consider. They don't answer you nothing. They don't give you anything. They consider things. But everybody else in this world either answers something, they respond to something, they give you a statement, they give you claims, they give you fucking all sorts of bullshit, right? 
They give you reasons, um, you know, grounds and all sorts of, you know, um, stories. But what you're doing before you go into any story, you need to, you're asking upon consideration, you know, is there a signed agreement between me and all the relevant parties on a piece of paper? So this letter is going to prompt the, the, these, these centurions or these parties of agencies, they want to investigate further. And uh, you've got to be asking yourself, is, you know, um, are you up for it and are you ready to, um, to do the training? Because there's training work here. I need to ask you, like, you, you hear what I'm saying here tonight. Like, do you think I am? If I'm not, then I won't send it. No, it's up to you, bro. I, I've been doing this journey, like, I don't know, for what, however long, and it's like, what have right, I got to right, lose? Right. You know, yeah, if, you're, right. if you've got a bit of fear in there, I, I don't reckon anyone should be doing this journey. I don't, I, I actually, I'm, I'm encouraging most people, if, if, if you've got a good life and you've got a, a good life with a wife and everything and, and you want to keep it that way and, and you just got to, uh, you know, uh, uh, whatever you, you know you're happy with, then go along with it. I don't recommend uh, in rattling the, the boat or the, or the, or the you know, or rattling, you know, shaking the, the cage or whatever's, in, you know, the life that you're living in uh, because it can be quite perilous, this journey. Mm-hmm. Uh, it certainly has been for me, and I, I, I don't have, I probably don't have any friends or whatever. I mean, not that I'm looking for any any sort of things, but people. I don't, you have, know. I don't have any friends either, brother. Like, like <laughs> I, I, listen, it's, listen, what? listen. When I tell you, like, I, when I tell you, I don't have any parents, and they live next door. It's because every every path I've taken this far is is because. They, no, no one agrees with the truth, you know. Or no. what do you know about truth? truth? Right, yeah. right, that's what I'm saying. Or any, or any truth, or anything yeah. that that can lead to a greater, a greater thing outside of the matrix. That they live but I must, in, if know? I must, if I may say that yeah. this journey, it will help you. Um, it will help you greatly in in keeping yourself out of war. It'll it'll help you. Um, it, keeping you, how can I rephrase it? It'll help you before someone offers you something, you'll be able to hear it quickly and you'll be able to defuse it before it goes into into uh, attack mode. Mm. Because language is is all about warfare with man because man has taken it. They, they've taken this technology upon himself to use it. And it's, it's, it's like, um, you know, it's like nitroglycerin. It's explosive. Language is is a is a it can be quite quite a dangerous um, cocktail, and uh, okay. if you can recognise it, if there's one thing to recognise, recognise whose property it is, and that's a good, that's what you want to recognise. You don't want to recognise that you know anything about it. You just need to know one thing: hey, is this my property to take? Because if you take a term of Jehovah, or you take a term of of, of, of pay this fine or pay or you take any term, fucking whatever, right? Whatever mm-hmm. term. Every single word you've heard or uttered to you as a child and here you are as a so-called adult, right? You, you need to go You need to go uh, in reverse now, back to your childhood from where you are is now. It, is, I mean, is it possible, Daniel? Well, is it possible? Fuck yeah, but it's tough work. Because, you, you, you know, I used to be up till three in the morning every single day um, with the scripture, going through every scripture, looking for the possessive words and then looking for the, all the I am's. And then I went, I, I was circle every sort of statement, every sort of question. I'd look at what allegedly Jesus used to ask. Oh, fuck, he's asking these questions. And then he goes, the Pontius Pilate question, are you the king of the owners? Are you saying that I am? Fuck, what's that, mate? What's that all about? I'll go into court. I asked these questions. I didn't even know what I was doing. And yet they, they were incredible, <laughs> the, the, the Daniel, experiences. Daniel, you, you were in front of the same judge how many times? Oh, I was always part of a, another judge, not not the same sort of judge. They they move around judges like, you know, changing judges, yeah. Okay, Const- so, so where, I'm, where I'm from, it's like the same fucking judge and this guy has... That's okay. Oh, he, has, he, he has a fucking heart out for me, if you will. 
Yeah, good, yeah, because, yeah. yeah, that's good, because you, you've shown him that you're a first-class asshole. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you yeah, don't yeah, like hearing yeah, yeah. that. I'm sorry, but that, if you listen to the judge, he's, he made it very clear how he sees you. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Now, he's trying to help you, but do you want to hear it? Most people don't. Most people do you, think. Do you, do you, I mean, is that your your one hundred? I mean, is that your true standpoint? Is that he's trying to help us? The judge. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The judge is actually showing you how to become whole. The average okay. person out there, um, they, they get every too every time. I mean, even with I mean, we see a lot of stuff about bad judges in this world. This that. Ah, uh, listen, all, all the, everybody, listen, yeah. listen, listen. Everybody's got to point a finger. And, uh, and and everyone needs to have an opinion. Uh, to me, I don't. I, it's, you're sidetracking and, and you're going off the off the path because in the scripture, if it's true, it's the judges uh, who who are there to show you how to become whole. And if you don't Everybody's like what the right? and if, if you don't like what the judge is saying, that's because you're in possession, mate. That means you 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 you're using you you coming to the judge with I am. And you come under judge like you think you know shit, and he's gonna fucking tear you to pieces, mate. So are you, are you saying when we are in complete um, agreement with the law, the real law, that the judge is on our side? Well, when you're asking the question, for example, you go to court and you don't mm -hmm. bring up terminology, but they go, "Oh, we've got some charges here," right? And then you just go straight away. You do, you know, I did this in the courts. I go, are you saying I was there? And they go, no, the informant saying that you were there. And I go, are you saying I was there? What well, does the I same. was there have to do with a mortgage? Well, or I don't know about the mortgage. I'm talking about the, um, I'm talking about the charges. You go to court yeah, because yeah. there's charges, right? Right, right? So you deal with the charges. And then you'd ask the question to the informant. So it's all, the court is, they need a where and when. And if, and, and if you don't bear it, that's why they go, in, are you guilty or not guilty? Well, first of all, they need a location and a date that something happened. And for you, you verify the time and the date. And once you verify it, you've got a where and when, and then you plead guilty, guilty or not guilty. It's game on. It's very, it's very precise um, science, and and it works one thousand percent, right? But when you're asking the question, "Are you the king of the Jews? Are you saying I am? Are you saying I was there?" Uh, where are they going to go with that? Is there a plaintiff point of view? What? So is there Say a plaintiff? Is there a plaintiff point of view, or is there only a defense? Well, quite frankly, um, oh, we yes, you, you you can investigate what a plaintiff is and, and a def, defensive or whatever you what you call it. But but at the end of the day, for there to be, a, you need a contest. You need two parties, and the state right. is one party, and 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 you're the other party. In other words, you, you, if you don't believe that there's a state. There's, you're, there's already another party there because you don't believe it and you're making a statement of it. Uh, some people believe there is a state. Well, now there is still two parties. There's you and, and the state. So whether you believe whether there's a state or you don't believe there's a state, there's still two parties because you're still in belief of either one. And, and, and when you go, when you're asking the question, um, you know, are you saying I was there? Well, where are they going to go with that? Uh, look, there's a lot of head fuck sort of stuff because unless you're renewing the mind daily and you start look, looking, this is these documents that you had from the IRS, I can guarantee you, and I went through this with a call with Tato uh, last year, I think it was, or early this year, um, about a similar document. And um, I went through it with him and it was all possession, broke it all up, the agreements, everything, the whole thing came back to possession. So all the particles, all the words, terms, um, everything came back to, to, um, to the garden, garden of, that's between the ears that you're in possession of property that don't belong to you. That's it. Mm. Too hard, huh? 
<laughs> sure. Oh, 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 it's 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 a hard con. It's very difficult to conceive uh, to to start living your, the life in reverse. You go, on, you, right, you're starting right. to you're starting to reverse yourself. Imagine you're a freight train, and you've been mm. going full steam ahead. Now you're just slowing down. If you, you, do you remember the Titanic? You ever watched that movie, Titanic? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was a sad movie, love story, and all the rest. But just just see the Titanic. How hard was it to turn the ship around from the icebergs? Can anyone remember that? Impossible. It was so hard to turn the ship around. Imagine that's what possession is. You can't turn. You're going to smash right into the icebergs and you're going to sink. Daniel, is there a way out? Well... Is there a way out? It's a bit like Hotel California. If you're looking for a right. way out, you'll never, ever find your way out. Right. Whoever finds their way out, brother, it's like, what do you mean by out? How did you get in for there to be an out? You see? You need to know, hang on a moment. Well, how did I even, you know, what did you even enter, you know, for one to believe that there's an out? Yeah? Well, once you take... That's why it is Hotel California. You can enter, but you don't. You can't leave because you're in the rabbit warren. Whichever way you go, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Well, you need to start looking at the third door. If you can't see the third door, you just got to keep keep fucking looking for the third door. And that's and that you know, is it in the question? You know, is is the answer in the question? You no longer start answering. You start questioning. You know, instead of speaking from I statement, you, you, you're going into the am I state, you know, am I question. You know, is there a big difference? Fucking monumental. But, yeah? but I mean, I mean, you said, I mean, again, I, I don't want to bring it up, but. Bring it up, right. People, uh, a lot of people that you said you you've been around had to go to jail, had to had, had to spend time because they brought this up, but maybe they didn't understand it completely, right? Um, can you repeat that? I'm not sure what you said. Could could you, could you say that again? I'm saying like a lot of people you said that they brought this up in court, but they didn't understand it completely. So. Oh, okay. Okay. So what I, I guess you see, people are looking for a way out. If that's oh. your focus, um, oh. you go deeper into the matrix because you well, actually believe. How do I know if that's my focus or not? Because obviously I'm looking for a way out, Daniel. Yeah. Obviously. Like everybody else, right? Yeah, like and that's any, this. I mean, and you and you did too. Let's be honest. Like when you wanted to get out, like when you when you found out the truth about matters, like you're like, fuck this. No, no, no. Hang Everybody. on. I'll tell you. Hang on, bro. Pause for a moment. I'll tell you why I never looked for a way out. I'll tell you why. And there's a big difference, is because I once you start to realise the only if there was a way out, then the only way is to go into the matrix into the mm, system, mm, into mm. the government. You need to you need to basically go straight into the eye of the storm. And and mm. and, 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 and 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 there is no out when you go directly into it. So if you're thinking of a way out, you're not going in directly into the eye of the storm, which is yeah, you've got to go straight in to the fucking belly of the 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 abyss. And if you don't go into the belly of the abyss you will you'll be on the side you'll be on the fence you'll be still fucking around and you'll you know you'll be like Shawshank Redemption where he took 40 fucking years to wake up from this fucking inertia from this coma you know that we're all fucking drunk on this fucking information drunk ourselves into oblivion so how long do you want to take you know, how long is this going to take? Is it, is it, maybe it is a lifetime for most people. Suddenly you wake up and then your eyes close. That's why I love that movie, Alien Covenant. You need to watch that movie, Alien Covenant. It's a, it's, it's an, it, fuck, it's an awesome movie because 
it's an agreement with the demon. That's that's basically man have an agreement with the with the with the with the demon, and um, and then once you realise once you you become possessed by by this uh, knowledge by this information. So this girl was in a capsule. This lady or girl, whatever the actor, and in the end she woke up for about one probably one minute, once, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds, her eyes opened and she went, oh, my gosh, like her eyes opened and then it was already too late. The demon already fucking consumed her whole. Uh, and she was totally taken to the other side. But but she had, there was a moment where her eyes opened up and realised, oh, my God, uh, you know, the reality of this is shock and awe. The reality of this is when you discover you're not your own, that's horrifying for people. Um, it, it's it's horrifying for people to realise that nothing you even perceive or conceive is 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 your own. Your thoughts, the body, the mind, even you thinking you're, you're making decisions <laughs> is Daniel, delusional. Daniel, is is it possible to know that you're not your own without using the correct language? Well, come as a child. Start asking the fucking question. No, geez. no, no, no. I'm asking. I'm asking. Like, I've known for quite some time. And I stood in front of these, in front of these Jesuit court jesters saying, hey, guys, I don't fucking own myself. Yeah, but you, you I got told them that I don't yeah. own myself. Yeah, uh, but there's you... a creator and he owns all that I have. Yeah, but like, listen, people that I speak. Yeah, yeah, people that speak like that. They get 20 years in jail down here. I, I understand that, but honestly, yeah. we're dealing with is there a creator or is there not? You're saying there is. And I'm well, saying if hang on I a went moment. in front of a judge, if I went in front of a judge and I said, I am not my own. Yeah. And there's a creator that created me. And you guys have no authority over that other than a person fiction. Yeah. What do you want well, to do you about it? If you don't yeah. change that, if you don't change that way of talking and that way of thinking, you're going right. to go. That's what you, I'm saying. You're just going to endlessly, endlessly go to jail. Point of view. I understand that, but hey, listen. But neither what can it, one. What, it, what, it, what is the difference between saying I am not my own and there is a God and saying is there a God? Well, what you go? What the, ask? Well, there you go. You need to ask. Well, uh, who can? Who can? Um, confirm there is a god and and who can deny there isn't a god that's what, that's what i'm trying to understand to okay. be honest with you like like no, i, I okay. fucking spit it out of my mouth on the i mean we we thought at the time that if we could get the state to admit that they were the owner of said person well you won't that, get the state to admit anything you're delusional if you think you're going to get the state. They, 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 their job is to exercise the demons out of you. And that's, right. their, that's their job, is, is to fucking claim that you're making a claim. And, yeah. and they can bring as many claims as they like. And, and if you don't know how to, how to um, uh, navigate that commerce, well, you're going down. And, and, yeah. and, and if, I, if, if, if it was true, if it was true, if you really, if you, if you, if you really are diligent, you'll realise and start to to get it in one's thick fucking head. That is there a <laughs> difference between a fucking statement and a fucking question? Because if you don't know, you might as well get a gun and blow your fucking brains out. Because yeah. you, you'll never know. Because if you just don't ask, it's it is it true? If you ask a miss. You have not because you ask a miss. Go look up that scripture. You have yeah, not. You have you ask a miss. In, uh, right, right, right. I've heard that. Yeah, because if you don't ask, well, what's going to happen to you? Mm. If, 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 if you're so hell bent on, on, on preaching this fucking uh, God um, talk, um, you know, this is God's property and you're making statements and making proclamations and and declaring and all this fucking claimant shit, you, you, you're going to get that. You're going to go through the mincemeat um, fucking panda. And well, you go through the wood, wood chipper down here. Come no, out I'm just, blood and bone. Yeah. So that's, that's no, just... changing, changing what's between. 
can you see a difference between I am, uh, I am such and such, or am I? Do, do you do you feel is there any difference between you know I'm not, I am, and am I? Because am I? I mean, if you can't tell the difference between am I and I am, well, then you're completely fucked, mate. That's all I can say. If you can't see the difference in a question then your mileage will go away for, for six years and come back and after you've gone through some more hell and then realise actually um, there is something in this fucking question. Because oh, if, you, if you can't, if you can't, no, I'm there. I'm, I'm, if there's I'm no there inkling, that you can't feel uh, the, 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 the significance of, like for example, they're going to ask you one day, do you understand this fucking information? And you go, oh, I don't understand it, or I do understand it. Well, you're fucked both ways. But if you go, am I to understand? Am I to understand by this that one agrees to these terms? Well, hey, Boone, forgive me, forgive me for interrupting, but uh, I just uh, uh, thought about something. Um, yeah, you ever saw them? I don't know if you ever heard of the movie Red Scorpion. Um, Dolph Lundgren's character is introducing himself to the Bushman, and he goes, I don't know, I don't know what his Russian name, uh, he goes, I am Igor something, and then, so the Bushman, he, he, he keeps going, I am, he just keeps calling him, I am, all, like, as a, that was his name. Okay, you there? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you like, know, because it's like, hello, yeah. hello, can you boys hear me? Yeah, I don't know what money Mike's talking I can about. You can hear me? Yeah, you know, I, I drop in and drop out sometimes. But anyway, g'day, money Mike, whatever you call, what answer to. Oh, okay. G'day, how are you? All right, good. Did you hear what I was saying? I dropped out. Um, What did I say? Yeah, before? I, I, I heard what you saying, yes. So you're talking about the I am thing. And then um, then I thought of, so, so what happened was I thought I, it, it it made it reminded me of a movie called Red Scorpion, and uh, the Russian guy uh, was introducing himself to the to the to the bushman, and he goes he goes I am Igor something you know whatever and then and but then the bushman he goes I am, it's like I am okay it's like <laughs> like after introducing his name and he's like so he kept calling the Russian I am all the way through the movie, yeah, so it's kind of like that. If you see some of these um, uh, superhero movies and as soon as uh, one speaks, I am such and such, they normally get eaten by the monster. So the physics show you that, that uh, I am fucking this, this and this. Yeah, well, the monster comes and chews them all up and spits them out. So I, and, and, and I, I love the, there's, also, there's also another one, the word got, I've got it. And then suddenly he's, he's eaten by the monster. Chewed up and spat but out. I, I, yeah. I am Iron Man, and then he snaps his fingers, but he dies. You know. Yeah. The, there yeah. you go. Uh, movies are great. Yep. Why are movies great? Because you start the, the movies actually show you the physics of of the technology language, and it's mm. showing you straight away before they blow your head off. Um, they actually they don't just shoot you. They wait to hear what comes out of your mouth, and then they shoot you and blow you up and bomb you. Right. So it's 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 all physics, and and that's why there's a lot of great movies out there that actually show and demonstrate what happens when when you know before we blow you up or cut your head off or, or put you through the the, the mince meter, um, you know, they that there's they, they're showing you what what what's what's going on. They're showing you what happens before they take you and line you up and 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 pump you full of lead with bullets. Right, you're going into the hole. Right, you speak I am, come with me. You speak possession, and you and you identify with any word. Doesn't matter whether you're a frog or a dog or fucking whatever. If you if you identify with anything, identification aligns itself with I am. And that's it. That's why you, whenever someone talks about you. That all goes back to the, uh, that brings, oh, you're talking to me, that, that, that goes back to my, the identification of me, I, 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 I'm so important, right? And then I take you for myself. That's why the offer is so hard. 
to 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 ask the question because the ego or the demon inside us believes it's all about me, 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 and I, I, I. And that's why you and I go hand in hand. When you don't deal with you as an offer, uh, you, 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 you go straight into jurisdiction, which is agreement with the wooden idols, the demon, and, and, and the harlot. You can call that all. There's many, many names to this. And, and you know, I'm just throwing out a few names that when you don't deal with the offer of of you, and most arseholes go, oh, what do you mean by you? Nah, it's fucking you is the offer for you to transgress, to take possession. Uh, so first, first, first of all, you need to establish who the fuck are you talking to? Do you know who you're talking to? Like, um, do, do you know those agents that come to your house there? Do you know them personally? They're all the wolves come to your house and they're talking to you like, you know, they, they fucking know you. Do you know them? Is that, is that why sometimes where you, you usually use the word you and your when you're talking to somebody, uh, not because it's singular or plural, but because it's a uh, possessive, something no, like that? Well, someone goes, okay, you amongst mean, like, friends. Amongst friends, you can go, hey, you, blah, blah, did you do this or whatever? Yeah, I did that, no worries. But when you're talking to an agent, all right, you don't know them. And they go, hey, where are you going? Well, do I know you? you got to ask this question, do I know you? Uh, or, you know, where are you going? Why do you need a lift? Is there anything I can do to help? You know, um, as soon as you answer, oh, I don't have to tell you. You're an arsehole. Now you do. you got to come with me. All right? You're resisting arrest. Now we've got to take you down. So always, language has always a flip side. That's why it's like you go, I am, I didn't, I did. All right? Someone says, I didn't do that. You lying little sack of shit. You did. All right? You just look at the physics of language. That's why every man's a liar. They can't prove anything they're saying. But that's why in court, you once you start talking from I am, the charges are proven already. Because you're already you're already providing evidence that you're the God Almighty. And from that, um everything else is 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 sorted. It's already there and done. You've testified against yourself. You're in front of the Almighty instead of being behind the Almighty. Because if you're behind the possessor, you'd be asking, well, am I? And if you can't see a difference between am I and I am, well, that's why you need to you need your head struck. You need to get your head sorted because you're in possession of getting your. Right? Your head needs to be sorted. And the judge told you that. Are we listening to the judge? Because one thing I've noticed about 99.999999% of people, no one ever listens to the judge. They think their judges are corrupt. Anyone who thinks that just shows how corrupted the mind of man is. The, is, judges, is the it, judges are there as impartial, and they only go by yeah. one thing, the preponderance of, the, of what they hear that comes out of that mouth. Right? Um, they ponder on it. They consider every little demon that comes out of that mouth, and then they 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 get the scales out and they they weigh up a balance of of probabilities. They're not a probabilities. I'll rephrase that. They um, of 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 the facts that what you're in possession, the claims that you're bringing up, and what you're in possession, and then they do an exorcism, right? And then they fucking throw you in the box, right? Or they give you the bill. And they're, they're, they're spelling it out. Allegedly, Jesus did exorcisms all the time because the people were in possession of fucking property that belonged to them. Was the possess because Jesus said, I go about my father's business. And if you're going out about your father's business, you're asking, what the fuck do you mean by your? What do you mean by God? What do you mean by have? What do you mean by my? That's going about the father's business because your, your concern is the father. You're considering the possessor, every moment of the day. You're not just thinking about your own fucking sorry ass and thinking about you, how fucking important you are. You're fucking nothing, not even a speck of fucking dust. 
And in court, you're seen as goyim. You're seen as fucking fodder. You know, fucking shit you wouldn't even feed to your dogs. Right? And that's how you're seen in fucking the system. And if you don't want to change that, remain that way. You don't, look, this is not about some fucking dickhead guru fucking sitting here telling you nothing. This is about, if you if you don't have first-hand experience and, and try and do this shit, give it a go and actually see what's the reality of this. Uh, all this talk is for, for naught. It's nothing. It's garbage. But when you start to see the effect of it and, you you know, you have an agent come around and, and they're fucking talking to you like, um, our records indicate fucking you owe 23 fucking thousand bucks or whatever, and you're asking, do I know you? And they'll, they won't, they, they'll keep going on, and they go, you have this. What do you mean by have? Did any of you guys hear that interview with me um, on the roadside with the, with the coppers? Did anyone listen to it? Hello? Yeah, I did. I heard it. Well, well did you did you hear how I spoke? Well, did you hear it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, what did you what did you pick up out of it? Did you did you did you was there anything there that you you you, you could go? Hey, this is interesting. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, Boone. I mean, but I mean, what do you mean? But I mean, but I mean, but, what? Um, you you got out of the car. We didn't hear the rest. And no, I, well, actually, no that idea. not. Hang on, I'll, I'll tell you what happened there. I, I got out of the car. I didn't deal with the got question. Then I went out of the car, and then he asked um, something about got, the possession, and I said, what do you mean by got? And uh, I, and that was it. They fucking um, went back in the car, and they fucking sped off, burning rubber. It was all over. All right, so you you blew in a, a breathalyzer, right? Oh, initially, just 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 for uh, shits and kicks, yeah. Um, and, you, I, and and they search your car, correct? Uh they they basically did. Um, they they did like a a, a site where they with their visual. Right. They do a site. How, how long how long ago was this? Oh, that was I don't know about probably six that six twelve months ago. So is there ever a point that we get beyond that? Is, is well, yeah. Don't forget, each time, each time you're doing, you, 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 you you're doing this. You, you, that, there was nothing came. There was no, no speeding ticket. No, nothing. Don't forget the coppers. They need to, if they've got, um, for example, if there's reason for them to pick you over, they, yeah, but they, they know you. They know your license plate, right? Well, they, they know the license plate. They know it, but um, they, if I'm speeding. They have a duty to do their basic things. The basic things they do, right? They need right. to carry they out they a know certain the certain license plate. What? So right, but they know the license plate. They know where you are at. Yeah, that's right. So what I'm saying is that they need to conduct a basic, uh, like they they do the basic checks, right? This guy, you know, he he is he's, he's pretty clean. There's nothing in the car. Okay, that's fine. He's safe to go, whatever. They, they, you got to allow them to do their job, okay? Um, let them do their job, but um, you don't have to answer any of the questions when you're asking the questions. Did you hear how I was dealing with possession or you didn't hear any of that? Oh, yeah, I heard all that. It was, it was fantastic. But yeah. they, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's still, They still grabbed you up, right? Well, they didn't grab, they said, get out of the car. And then yeah. that's when I, that's when you say, "What do you mean by get?" And that's that's that would have sorted everything out. But I I didn't do that at the time. It was three in the morning. Even I sometimes, you know, drop the ball for a second. But you can get on. You can you can pretty much sort it out. The next next question that they ask. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. So after that, after I got out of the car. I was back in the car and about 10 seconds later. Mm. And off they went. Okay? So that's just giving you an example of dealing with possession. Where, where do you feel like you're at right now, Boone? What do you mean where I'm at? Just doing the work. 
every day meditating, meditating on the on the on on you know on on whose right, property. We, 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 we shouldn't be enemies of of the owner, right? We shouldn't What's that? be enemies. Of, we shouldn't be enemies of the owner. If we know who we are. Hang on, what are you talking about? Enemies of the owner? What do you What do you mean? I mean, there's the possessor, right? We should well, be possessing in his name. Say that again. I said we should be possessing in his name, correct? Well, how are you how are you how are you possessing in his name? Why would you be possessing in his name when you're asking? What do you mean by your? What do you mean well, by if, have? If, if 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 there's a car in the front yard. And he owns it, but he's assigned it to me. So what if it's car? signed over to you? Is it still? Do you still going to make a claim that it's your car? No, definitely not. Well, how are you going to do it? Is that your car? What are you going to do? Right. How are you going to ask the question? You know why asking what do you mean by your is so difficult to ask? Has anyone ever figured that one out? Because most yeah. assholes like to be intelligent. This, the problem about these questions is it reduces one's intelligence to zero. And I'm yet to meet anyone who is looking for a reduction of intelligence. Most people want to be fucking intelligent because they think they fucking know shit and you know, their, their, their intelligence is all with the programming. I think I know shit. And when you're asking this question, what do you mean by have? That's why nobody asks these questions because I'm yet to meet anyone who who wants to reduce um, themselves um, with, with with what they think they know. And that's what this whole all these calls are about: fucking, you know, reducing what you think you know, bringing yourself back to zero. I mean, who wants to do that? I'm yet to meet anyone. Everyone seems to be still hell-bent on thinking they fucking know shit. All right. Fucking good luck with that. Whatever you bring up, it's going to fuck you up. So so how do we trust the system to do what's, what is correct? What do you fucking know about correct? Who are you? Right. Are you are you are you like a um are you like a teacher who 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 or a judge who <laughs> who determines what's fucking correct and incorrect? Right. Are you like are you, you've been at school for too long, haven't you? Imagine the system is is designed in perfection, and every time you open that mouth, uh, 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 oh, they're not doing things correct. They they're doing things. They're, they're being corrupted here. And who are you? Who are you to, to say or speak of such things? All right? Now you're meddling. Now you're fucking, now you're telling, thinking you know shit. And now you're, you're wanting to correct the system. All right? Because the system, um, the system isn't treating you quite nicely. All right? Because you, you need to be treated, you know, with a boot to the head. Because you, you, you don't want to repent. You don't want to bend your, your knee and humble yourself. You keep thinking you fucking know shit. It's a hell of a fucking gig. But until you start, I, I actually find some people need to go through a hell of a lot more suffering. Um, a hell of a lot more suffering um, before they even come to any, any realisation. The more suffering, the better it's for you. Because if you think the fucking system is not being fair or is not fucking um, doing the right thing, fucking who the fuck do you think you are? Fucking system is is in my opinion, if I own such a thing, is fucking as precise and as clear. It's it's unblemished. It's it's made in it's 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 imperfection. 
And when you go through the system and the system fucking devours you up, it shows you how far, how, how off the path you've gone, how, how far astray you've gone. It shows, it shows what a rotten, wretched creature we've become. Mate. Who wants to fucking see themselves as a criminal? You're a fucking criminal. Can you be okay with that? Being a fucking criminal. Until you can say I'm a fucking criminal and I speak with I am because I'm a fucking criminal, I've been taking the I am and the title and all the fucking property of the possessor because I'm a greedy motherfucker. Until, until I can say that to myself, I'm a fucking wretched fucking creature that needs to be fucking exploded and bombed and fucking annihilated because of the path of fucking taken. I have not fucking... But, uh, but how, how do we do that? I mean, I mean, you're, you're not saying anything I don't fucking know. Like, I fucking know that. Good. But That's you're, a start. You're saying, but you're saying there's like a, a precise fucking way. Like, I can't just say that. I've got to... I didn't say there's a precise... Little, you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Did I say there's I've a precise got, way? No, no. Okay, okay. I've interpreted it as there's a fucking riddle. There's only a fucking certain path up, down, over, left, right, left, right, left, right, up, down. How about, hang on, hang on, hang on. There. Hey, brother, yeah. brother, yeah. just keep this as a foundation to whatever you do in life. And if I, and, and, and it's, is it me giving it to you? Fuck no. It's the system that's giving it to you. Anything you say or do, right? Anything you say or do may be held in evidence against you. See, if you keep that, as in your back, back, background in the back mind, anything you say. So in other words, you say something, you're going to be fucked. You don't say something, you're going to be fucked. So what the fuck's left? It's the fucking question. So stop fucking complaining and start meditating on what you're fucking hearing. And if there's a question that comes out of it, fuck it. This is pain, mate. To find the question is when I, I asked myself because I couldn't, I couldn't, I could. When I first started this journey, I was so wretched I couldn't even ask a question. It was that bad. I couldn't ask any questions, and uh, I realised something. How have I become so an abomination, such a wretched creature that a question could not even come to mind? How far down? How far have I gone off the path? For this to happen and then and then and then the question came how far did i go to come off the path and then i started that's when the beginning of the start and the question started coming you can't t serve two masters and the two masters is you're either in telling mode you think you know shit or you start in the asking mode you're as king right you can't serve two masters you can't go i am i am every fucking day and then go Oh, I am, or am I? No, it doesn't work that way. I didn't design it. You fucking start asking the, the the possessor or the designer of all these things, why the fuck it's this way. Start investigating. Investigate every thought that's between the ears. Investigate every little assumption that fucking you think you know. Right? That's the hard work. Who the fuck wants to do it? Fuck it, mate. i am get to fucking meet any asshole out there who wants to do it. Because it's hard work. Yeah. It's like bleeding the mind. Bleeding what you're, you're, you're bleeding internally. It's so much, it's so difficult when you realise, fuck, man, this is, this is bringing every word into subjection to the possessor. That means you think it, you ink it. If you don't think it, if you don't think, whatever you think, whether you do think or you don't think, you put it on paper. You write it down, you have hundreds of pages you start to unlearn and you go back to fucking kindergarten. Right now, you've probably got a PhD in arseholism. So how do you reverse all of that? Fuck, man. You, you start off with the system and these IRS letters, they're about the best fucking letters you'll ever come across and they're going to show you how to do it. But you lead me to believe, brother, I don't know if you really want to go there. Why? Because it's the last place people want to go to. Who wants to look at that? As I said, it's not fucking pretty. 
it's it's these IRS letters, they're direct from the possessor, and and mm. everybody that I'm 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 yet to meet anyone who fucking wants that more than anything. It's it's you're going against. Imagine this, boys and girls, you're going against everything that you believe you knew. You've been told you it's going against the grain of society. It's going against the grain of your mummy and daddy, all your friends. Your wife is going to say, fuck you, get out of my life. I fucking don't want you. I don't love you anymore. Fuck, mate, you're yeah. going to be like a leper. Nobody's going to love you doing this journey, mate. You're like detestable. This is the most, wretched, there, bro. The most wretched journey. Good. Well, you've still got a long way to go, right? Yeah. yeah. And so have I. I'm no fucking different to any other motherfucker right, out there. Right, right, right. I'm just, right? I'm just saying I've been there. Yeah, that's I've all right. Been, but just know one thing, brother. Yeah. But just know one thing. Can we do this fucking journey without each other? Fuck no. And that's why. And that's why I ask that everyone, if you've got, if you've got these IRS letters, bring them on. Let's investigate them. Tear them apart. Look at them. Okay. Have you have you dealt with them? Has a bear shit in the woods? <laughs> some. Yeah, some. Well, every every document that comes by that post box is considered and sent back. There ain't no hot potato sitting with me, brother. Okay. You deal with every offer. And that's how you, that's how you fucking, that's how the prodigal son comes back home. If you don't know how to deal with the wooden idols of man, you're going to be stuck in fucking, fucking them. You're going to be stuck in the, in the, in, in, I call it purgatory, the fuck house. Yeah. And you'll be fucked every which way but loose. So do you want me to send you the remaining four what? pages? Or? The remaining four pages. Good. You need to photocopy them and fucking circle them. You've got like, you got a fucking 12 month fucking project before you. you got 12 oh, months. So much. Yeah. yeah, it's so much. This is fucking, mate, I've been doing this for 20 years and I'm still doing it. You guys, fuck, mate. Jesus Christ. Do you know what you're fucking looking at here? Once you eat from that tree of knowledge, that's why it's Hotel California. To unfuck yourself is hacking thyself, brother. It's a it's a tough gig. It takes a lot of humbleness and fucking knowing who you are as a wretched creature and going, okay, okay, I can live with that. But you know what? If there was a way to fucking come back to neutral and come back to the to the to the you know, and have a love for the father, the possessor, the I am of the heaven and earth, right? If there's a love there in the heart. Then there might be hope for you, but if you love yourself and you love your fellow, whoever, well, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. There's only there's only two laws on this planet, boys and girls. Love the the possessor, the father, with all every bit of might and and strength that's in that body. That you want this more than life itself. You don't care for your life anymore. There's no concern for your bullshit anymore. And you're not going to ask those questions like you said, oh, is the system doing the right thing by you? What do you give a fuck about the system doing the right thing about you? They're doing the fucking right thing with their fucking boot on your fucking head. They're doing the right thing. You fucking deserve it, you little mongoloid. Right? But the system is, 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 is in perfection. And if you can't see and you don't see that everything is, is, a design, is from the designer, and the, the, the two laws, love the father with all your heart and might. And the next one is love your brother and sister. Not the way that is man's love, where you fuck them up the ass, that kind of love. No, you fucking love them through, hey, how am I help? Anything I can do for you? Oh, look, I'm, I'm, I need a little bit of help with this and that. Yeah, no worries, bro. I'm there for you. Right? And if you if you stick to your word, hey, listen, let's agree to this. We do this together. You stick to it. And you fucking, you, 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 you work together in agreement as it was supposed to be. But two people agree. They're in the midst of I am. The I am the almighty father. And then anything's fucking possible. Anything can be done. Right? But if you want, it's, you know what? I'm going to send you guys a song. It's called The Wanderer. 
um, by what's his name. And it, it basically says in the lyrics, you want the kingdom, but you don't want the father in it. Oh, I fucking love that. And I thought, shit, that's just like fucking most people. They want the kingdom, but fucked if I want the possessor in it because I'm the fucking God all fucking mighty. Yeah. Anyway, you guys still on this call. I don't know why you haven't fucked off yet. <laughs> um, I do fucking go on. Anyone there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh. So I'll probably do I, I I really want to go through those um, videos, but I can't seem to do it on this mobile thing that I'm using. Um, if it's okay with you, um, bro, um, I'd like to uh, reconvene another call. <laughs> and predominantly, if the boys are able to jump on, it's going to be a lot of fun because what I'm going to go through is I'm, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to investigate what's coming out of their mouth. And you guys are going to be fucking blown away because I've already listened to it and there's a lot of fun in it. There's really good stuff in it. Mm. So you, you, you want to, you, you, you want to, um, everything you do, either if you interrogated transcripts, if you you know, if you're fucking, whatever you're doing, you, 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 you bring it, you, you pass it on. So we all can start to unlearn and start to re renew the mind and unfuck ourselves. Because guess what? Mm. You need to realize one thing. The way you're thinking, guess what? The system made you who, the, who you are. The system was successful in, in you being the product of the system. Do you guys grasp that? You guys speak this language because the system passed it on to you. And they were very good at passing on possession. You've inserted it into yourself like a fucking program. And here you are speaking. So just, just know this, the system is extremely successful in what it does. It's unblemished. Now it's up to you, right? Now it's right. up to you because the system can work both ways. Huh? For If you want to be a peaceful, you know, live peacefully and a joyous life, right, and you consider the possessor, then you'll start learning to unlearn and start asking these questions. Other than that, you're just going to be a claimant and you'll be fucked. Mm. So it's up up to you boys. Just remember, you, you're just the product of the system. The system was a success. They did a good job on you. Just just give the system at least, yeah, fuck. They, they fucked me up real good, but you fucked yourself up. It wasn't the system. The system just encouraged you to take this fucking shit. You remember that, you know that wicked witch with the red apple and going, come on, you little shit, Johnny. Take a bite of this apple, you little shit. And you go, oh, fuck, all right, I'll bite into it. And you fucking get sick each time you bite into the wicked witch's apple. That's the tree of knowledge. Yeah? So that's the system. The system is the wicked witch with the little red apple. And what are you assholes doing each time? You're biting into it. You're eating it. You're chewing it. You're buying it. Am I making sense or what? No, that's all. So just 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 know one thing that the system is a, is 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 <laughs> it, it, it design it's the designer of all this, but it, that's why it's training ground, right? They 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 made you speak. You you you're you're only speaking this technology because the system passed it on to you, encouraged you to take possession of it, and you've and they've done a good job of it. You, you should be looking at them and saying, "Fuck these guys are fucking good on them." Now, I'm fucked. I know that. You guys did a good job of, you know, of me inserting it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the one who's fucking, you know, the problem here. I'm the fucking fuck up because I was the one that they encouraged me. To, hey, take it, take it, take it. And what did I do? I took it. I took it. And now that I took it, all right, fuck, all right. That's the rude awakening. Okay. I fucked myself. I know that. I fucking believed all this bullshit in fucking life. All right. Okay. Now, where do I go to from here? All right. You want to be, um, you know, vengeful and go, oh, they did something to me. No, they didn't do nothing to you. You did it all to yourself. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. System done, didn't do nothing. And the court's there 
basically to go, well, is there any arsehole out there who fucking was, um, went through the system and uh, just didn't interpret? They might have a sign of life out there. In other words, someone is doing the work. Fuck, if there is someone doing the work out there, fuck. Uh, maybe the, 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 we, we can't completely destroy uh, the, uh, the system, destroy the people. We, we have to keep things, you know, when someone's asking these questions, I'll tell you what, boys, how about you go out there and start asking these questions? Start off with possession. Just start seeing what happens. That's all. It's actually pointless of some arsehole talking in nonstop about this garbage if no one's actually out there living it. Uh, and, and, and that's really the bottom line, okay? Gotcha. You got me. All right. Well, you got me or who's got you? Huh? Anyway, I love you guys. Look, I'm going to head off now. I just, I just want um, I, I, next call. I'm going to go through some videos. It's going to be a lot of fun. I got to, I'm going to sort it out. It might be later this week, um, or, or Saturday mornings is good. And uh, I've got Jared, Bob, and Money Mike and Yoda. Do you guys all hear me? Of course. Yeah, we hear you. All right, that's excellent. All right. Uh, I'd like a little bit of feedback, and, and if there's any questions, it's always good. Uh, when I mean feedback, it's like, like a question about something that fucking rattled the, the cage inside the brain. Um, it's always good to, 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 to just hear, hear from one another um, and, um, and, 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 and start to, you know, jump on this journey. It, it, once you, once, once you if, if there was a chance for you to come out of the Matrix, imagine yourself on a Harley with a hot chick on the back you're fucking riding into the sunset, man. This is what it's like. You're riding into the sunset and, the, and you're fucking going about 180 k's. The coppers fucking fly past you. They don't even pick you up. All right, what do you know about a copper? Fuck, mate. It's, it's another reality. Pretty, pretty bloody beautiful. Pretty bloody, mate. You're gonna, it's, it, it, it's a choice. You want hell on earth? Humans are only, people are only good at one thing, how to make hell. Mm. You tell me one thing that, that ma a man can do. I'd love to hear about it. You can't be a human. Right? You, 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 fuck, man. <laughs> you, want, you want the kingdom? You don't want the, the, the fucking father in it? Fuck, good luck. Good luck, brothers. Anyway, if I can ask your brother, and I really do appreciate um, uh, Bob, uh, or uh, was it uh, Dominion? He puts these calls on a um, on a um, you know the YouTube things. Uh, I, I think that's helpful for the other brothers. Would everyone agree with that? Does it actually help everyone? Hello. Hello. Yes. Because if it's not yeah. helping, no point fucking doing it, right? Mm. No, Dominion definitely helps. Yeah. All right. So what I'm saying is, do these calls, if they're recorded, uh, are they, and, and, and if you're passing them on to other brothers uh, and then you're hearing what they're talking about, you know, what they might have heard or something, I'm asking, are you finding these calls helpful? Absolutely. Thank There's you. no point me doing it if, if, you, if it's not, if something's not penetrating the, the fucking, the, the brain cells. You got to. It's like getting through a hell of a lot of layers of, of concrete before you get through the the into the soft matter. Oh. Uh. Anything you you boys want to ask before we, we we finish off this call? Money, Mike, Yoda, Jared. Y'all gonna have a recording of this call posted? I missed the beginning. I'm just doing some dishes now, but yeah, extremely helpful. And I appreciate it. Much appreciated. No, that's okay, bro. Uh, and I, I, we, we, we only learn from one another. And that's why I was saying with Bob, it's awesome that he's, there's a few videos and a few transcripts and a few things that he's sending me. Uh, and, and it's an opportunity to, to, to discuss it and to, to unlearn the programming. Because the programming, the system is very successful in passing on this program. And we're actually speaking the program, and the programming is the I am. Once you start oh, speaking oh. the I am, you're in the program, the matrix. It's fucking a head fuck, but 
it, it's a, it's would, a hell of a game. I, 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 I would say that we are we are recording this and that we're passing it on and that we would appreciate um, anything that anybody else could put put uh, push on to us. Well, anything just anything else that anybody could share, that would be great. No, it's good, good. And I appreciate the call, um, and I, I can only do it with you boys. Um, I, I, you know, otherwise, I'm just talking to myself, right? Right. Yeah. So j just pass it on to either Dominion and ask him if he can do a uh, recording uh, on the on the on the on the YouTube. Can Can yeah, you ask him yeah, that? I got, I got it. All right. Anything else anyone want to ask about? Got it. All right, brothers, um, let's uh, reconvene another time, huh? Sounds good. All right. Ciao.